Hi everyone, Silver Joker here. Okay, so is silver scarce or what? I mean, are we having a silver shortage or what? The last video I posted had a lot of people say I can get silver, I can buy as much as I want. I go online, they always have what I want. Then there's a lot of comments that I got on my last video where people saying, you know, Silver Joker, you're right. My local corn store is out of silver. I absolutely see a difference in the abundance or the amount of silver that I could get compared to what I used to be able to get. The question really comes down to what can you get? If you can source physical silver um, at, to your satisfaction, then I guess, you know, there's really, it's really not an issue for you. So I went down to my local coin store, talked to Phil, and he kind of straightened it out from his point of view, him being a bullion dealer. So I got his perspective on it. And I think some of what he says may surprise you. So if you're interested in any of that, stick around. And if you like my channel, then just hit that like button. That is the easiest way to show me some love. And when you're done watching as much of this video as you want to watch and you think I've earned a second look, then you might want to consider subscribing, ringing that bell, and you'll be notified as soon as I put out another video. Thank you. All right, Phil. So here we are again. Another um, another visit to <laughs> my local coin <laughs> store. Uh, you know, looking at what you got here, it would be hard to... Uh, Imagine that silver is a little hard to get, but from what I hear from a lot of the um, comments and other videos that I watch online, uh, that you know, silver may be a little bit harder or getting a little bit harder to, to, to source. I mean, it's available, of course, because you, you're showing some here, but it's not as available as it was. I mean, what are your thoughts on that? Well, um, I think just the, the supply um, of it right now is slow. I don't know that the availability actually is diminished in terms of, of quantities. Um, there's And it's a two-factor situation, I believe, right now. that A lot of people call, um, we do get silver in, you know, when they come in and we're low on silver, it's not because we're not getting it in, it's because it's selling out so quickly. So there's an influx, I think, of new buyers in the market buying silver that are eating up a lot of the excess silver that we would normally have for our regular silver buyers. In addition to that, I do think there's probably supply chain issues in terms of availability uh, distribution um, that's causing a slowdown of silver reaching you know, the final marketplaces like the coin stores and some of the online uh, retailers. Um, stock market seems to be doing well. Again, that's a, you know, that's a whole nother ball game. People have uh, pros and cons about talking about the stock market. You have the cryptocurrency market that is, you know, up and down as usual. Um, so I think for stability, I, I think a lot of people feel that the silver and gold market is just a stable environment to park some dollars for now and see what happens. So um, I don't think there's there's a need to run out and buy silver. Um, and overpay for it. And, you know, everybody realizes there's a there's a premium associated with now, and that premium is probably directly related to the aspect of the short supply of availability in you know retail market and being able to come in and walk out with physical silver. But again, that's not because there's less silver on the planet. The, the, the idea is it's just more people want it now, and, and like any other collectible, if you throw it into a collectibles market. Um, it's a supply and demand issue, and that causes the premiums that we're seeing, and it also causes the, the availability of short supplies, um, you know, running into short supplies. So right. I think that's that's probably the the reasoning, and you know, it might get figured out a little bit if um, if things settle down worldwide as far as um, you know the wars that that are um, kind of forefront for everybody, and also um, the um, the gas prices, um, that will be an issue again with increasing um, cost of everything. Transportation is going to increase the cost of everything, so I would not expect silver and gold or any other precious metal not to be affected by that also. Right. I did get an email from, and I'm sure some of your viewers got an email from the, the Mint saying that they are putting off some of their commemorative coins or some other types of coins, I think it might have been the Morgan, that is made out of silver because their supplier of the planchets that are made of silver, they're in short supply or there's a distribution issue or something like that. So that kind of added fuel to the fire in terms of people believing that, that perhaps, again, silver's going to be in short supply, at least for the short term. Now, does that, does that happen often? 
It's Isn't happened right? one one or two other times I can remember being in the business. Yeah. And what was it? What was the circumstances for that? Do you think? Uh, the last uh, time that they actually put off doing something is, um, that I can remember is in 2009 when they did not do the Silver Eagle proofs. Oh. Essentially, they decided they're going to put all the resources of silver into continuing along with the Silver Eagles and not do the Silver Proof Eagles, and so we don't have a 2009 Proof Eagle. I did not know that. Yeah. I didn't know that there's not a Proof yeah. of 2009. And just a side note again for the viewers, if you ever see <laughs> if you ever <laughs> yeah. see a 2009 Proof Silver Eagle, it's an enhanced type thing that somebody's done right. aftermarket to make Absolutely. it look like a, or make it look proof It line. didn't come from the man, It did not come way. from the man. Yeah. But if you <laughs> happen to look up on one, maybe somebody <laughs> mistakenly made one at the mint and I've not heard, it out I, in their pocket. I've not heard of that, but that would be a super rare that would be, <laughs> yeah, that, that would be one where you could pretty much retire. You, <laughs> I know some people that would probably. You could, yeah, you could but probably. But that, that is pretty good. So, so it's not unprecedented that they are that they uh, suspended some of their commemorative. No, and you have to keep in mind too that the you know the mint is a business. I mean, they right. they, they they need supplies, they need workers, they need machines, they need distribution networks. Um, everything has to work the same as manufacturing does. So they're going to run into some issues at, at times. Uh, it could be malfunctioning. Uh, machines, mm -hmm. it could be employee issues, it could be a anything that could create short supplies of it at any time during the year or at any year. Right. It doesn't have to be a shortage of precious metals. But you're not reading too much into that. I don't read into it any further than that. Okay. We can, you can see we recovered easily from the 2009 non-production of Proof Eagles. Right. And I, I believe this will just simply be another sidestep of maybe putting the Morgans off till next year or maybe just disbanding the whole idea of, of, of doing them if something else might come up that uh, they feel is more important to do. Right. So, no, I don't, I, don't, um, I don't get overly excited about those types of things in terms of thinking that um, we're heading into the, the arena where, right. you know, we are not going to be able to find well, silver. We're on the verge of a yeah. silver shortage yeah. is what yeah. a lot yeah. of people yeah. like to say. But... Mm -hmm. I know from just coming in here in the years that I've come in here that you've, you know, th that I can see the difference in the availability. Yes, yes. And, um, and I see that, um, you know, it's not so much that silver is short as, I mean, they don't, it's not like silver's running out. It's just that more people mm -hmm. over the years are becoming more um, interested in stacking physical silver. Yeah, every and, week uh, we've so got people coming in that, you know, that are basically new, empl new, um, new customers and, you know, they're asking about silver, they've heard about it on the news, or a friend has told them, or, or a relative has told them maybe perhaps they should put some, some of their money into silver. And they're not they're not big silver buyers, and you don't have to be this big silver buyer. You don't need to say, you know, I want to buy a monster box of, of silver, 500 ounces of silver. The people that are coming in want to buy 5 or 10 ounces of silver, if yeah. that even, mm -hmm. and they want to get started. But that 5 or 10, uh, if that happens, you know, an extra five or ten times a week, there's a hundred ounces of silver that is not on the counter right now that you know we normally would have. Right. And you know, as a business, that's kind of good for us because it it brings more people into the store. But at the same time, for supplying supplying you know a regular stream of silver buyers that we typically have, it, it's it's hard for us to try to work with them to to allow them to continue to stack. The, the amount of silver that they're tr trying to stack. So it is very difficult for them and us to try to meet everybody's demand, but right. we do the best we can. Um, but you're, you're, you're still buying silver very strong. You've still got yes. really good uh, prices for silver that people bring in to sell. Yeah. And that's pretty, that's going pretty good. Our margins really haven't changed. I know the premiums seem to be a, you know extraordinarily high in terms of where silver spot is versus what people have to pay to get, say, just a round of silver. And in a normal round, you know, something like the Sunshine Mint. I mean, very, very common round that we've had uh, in the yeah. past. Um, These they, are extremely popular. Yeah, they're very popular, very common. Uh, it's a good, it's a good silver round. Um, you know, people like them. It's a pretty round made by a reputable company. Mm -hmm. um, th that's the whole idea is the fact that it's 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 available but we're paying a much stronger price for it as it comes in compared to where spot is and we're so we have to sell it for a little bit more than what we pay we have into it. Other than that, uh, things really haven't changed for us except the fact that again um, it goes out just about as quickly as it comes in. Right. 
well, these a lot of these are going to go out. <laughs> as soon as we're done recording, a lot of these are going to go out. I'm going to take some of these with me. This is the first time I've seen this one. This it's is Scrooge the McDuck. Scrooge McDuck. Um, yeah. I, I, people compare, more well, my family put it that way, <laughs> they compare me to Scrooge McDuck. You know, they think, you know, I have a pool of, yeah. of silver coins that I dive into and swim. <laughs> it's not a pool. It's more like a bathtub right now. <laughs> Just kidding. But anyway, I appreciate your time, Phil. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, so I guess the takeaway from this is, you know, yeah, there's some things happening yes. with silver, physical silver, but it's, it's not time to panic. It's, it's not all time explainable. To, it, right. It's all explained by the circumstances that's going, you know, around. It's not n nothing that is... Um, insidious it's going to all, all of a sudden crop up and realize that you know silver tomorrow is is going to be uh, out of reach for you know for anybody to buy I believe it's uh, it's going to progressively get more expensive it's going to and that's going to be due to not just availability because again not anything other than supply and demand right. but also the fact that we're, we are starting at least walking into an inflationary period where nobody knows where this will end it could we could be at the middle of it, we could be at the beginning of it, we could be at the end of it. You know, my, my personal guess is we're probably just at the beginning of the inflationary period of, of uh, where we're headed as a country, but we'll see. I don't, you know, that, that remains to be seen. Nobody really knows for sure. Absolutely. Um, All right, Phil. Well, I appreciate yeah. that. We're going to come back and uh, make some more videos and uh, do this again. Thank right. you. Thank you. All right. So there you have it. It seems to me this whole idea about a silver shortage, silver scarcity, you know, hard to source material, that kind of thing. It seems to me that it is really from your own personal experience and point of view. From my understanding, this is my own personal belief, it's really due to the fact that there's a lot more people buying physical bullion. And I think that is only going to increase. That's my opinion. Anyway, tell me what you think. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace.